my newly honored friends? Your Majesty. We understand that with Crawford Staric gone, a certain secret society finds itself searching for leadership. An upstart faction seeks to enter London and seize power. Do you feel your life is in danger, ma'am? No. Rather, I fear that the people of this grand city may suffer. I call upon you to foil this traitorous plot. You can depend on us. We will meet my loyal aide at the docks for instructions. The work begins immediately. I am Alfred Fleming. I run Her Majesty's Secret Service. First things first, we need to clear the area of anything that might alarm the enemy. Like that police carriage. Would you kindly of suppose? Yes. Come on. Agents are here disguised as civilians. Get them into position for our ambush. A ship will soon arrive from Boston. Its cargo, dynamite. Its crew, Templar. What say you to greeting it with an ambush? If we must, we must. Any news? Make me proud, Rook. I need your skills.
your way, then. That's their leader. I want him brought to me at the station, alive. Would you care to tell me your plans? Go to hell! Now, now! Steric may be dead and gone, but the Templar Order will never die! We will rise again, like a phoenix from the ashes, and bring the world to its knees! Yes, well, best of luck with that. carry on from here. My people are recovering their explosive cargo. You did fine work today. I will have a chat with our distinguished guest here to see what schemes he and his friends are brewing. Do let me know if he says anything interesting. Of course. Mr. Fleming has attempted to force a confession from your prisoner. The miscreant refuses to talk. Will you speak to the villain and learn his secrets? Leave it to me, Your Majesty. propagated by those who failed to embrace and thus be enriched by the dirt.
here now. Calmly. Must I pummel you severely about the head and shoulders? Or can we simply talk? Might as well. The order was to load a train with explosives at Westminster. It'll detonate before reaching Southwark Station and kill everyone aboard. You people in your damn dynamite. When does it happen? Do anything, any it's the next train. It should leave at any moment. You'll never...
her much lamented husband adored these gardens. He called them his one safe port in the midst of the mad seas of this world. We miss him dearly. But never mind all that. To business. Our Mr. Fleming has learned from the Templar prisoner that an attack is imminent. But before we could learn more, he escaped custody. He is believed to be hiding in Westminster. We capture him for us, that we might learn his secrets. He won't be free for long, ma'am. I promise. You'll have to rendezvous with your fellow conspirators soon enough. Slowly now. Did you? Shut it, you bombing mug. I'm going on ahead to scout the location. Bring these explosives to the safe house and wait for my signal. Yes, sir. Too many innocents nearby. I'll snatch away the explosives before continuing the hunt.
too close. I need to put an end to these upstart templars and quickly. The final group of upstarts are making their last desperate stand. They have penetrated the Houses of Parliament and plan to detonate whatever explosives they have left. Please find Mr. Fleming, so we might put an end to this once and for all. Slow down. Thank mm -hmm. you. 
multiple targets inside the palace, all armed and dangerous. Making matters worse, the Prime Minister has gone missing. I need you to deal with the Templars. Target one is in a nearby corridor, surrounded by civilians. He has explosives on his person. You need to take him by surprise. If he sees you, he'll detonate his bomb. In the meantime, I'll search for the Prime Minister. about. They must be removed quickly and quietly. Precisely. This is the original guide. Men's fashion, etiquette, and it's becoming famous by extensive effort on the small details. What's going on? They'll never find it. That's my secret. Nicole! I must protect my sources. No, ah. Roma. A gentleman doesn't kiss and tell. Thank you, sir. You can put down a useful dog. Do anything you want. Somebody stop that impetuous being! Gracious! Never in my Gracious. life have I been treated Never so in my life have I been treated this city so unjustly. This city needs to be taken care of. This city needs to be taken care of. We pass taken care of the royal household. We pass the royal household. We pass the royal household. We pass the royal household. We put our life in some hands with actual agents. Wherever pleasure finds you, ain't it? Head to the park. How can you just stand idly by and watch that happen? We need some real authority. 
Steady, Prime Minister. I'll have you free in a moment. Not another step, assassin. You've lost, don't you see? The Houses of Parliament are rigged to explode at the last stroke of twelve. There's nothing you or anyone else can do to stop it now. The Houses of Parliament will be leveled. Centuries of history are going to be blown away in a second. <laughs> Find those bombs before they go off.
Gentlemen, gentlemen, calm yourselves. Thank you, my young friend. Now, please come with me. You and your sibling have been summoned. It's not my concern. You have honored us with your loyalty and courage. Long may we strengthen the Empire together. Your Majesty, we will always work to ensure the safety of the people. But with the greatest respect, our philosophy forbids us from assisting with the expansion of the Empire. Perhaps, ma'am, you could consider putting an end to your imperialist desires. I understand and respect your position. Bound as you are by your creed, you will indulge me one final time and receive these gifts. Goodbye, and may God bless the noble fries. Suppose you'll be offered any more cake. For 20 years, after the Assassins defeated the Templars in London, the city enjoyed a certain peace until the Autumn of Terror. In 1888, London is plunged into shadow and fear by a series of gruesome and unsolvable murders. The brothels of Whitechapel seem warm and safe by comparison to its streets where prostitutes are being mutilated and left on grotesque display for the world to ogle. Jacob Fry hunts the elusive killer to bring an end to the terror of Jack the Ripper. Get a move on, Mr. Finch. This is the story of a lifetime. Mr. Weaversbrook. I know you have more of the Ripper's letters. I told you to stay away from me. Stop publishing his letters. You've turned an unknown miscreant into a legend, and that's exactly what he wants. Jacob, thank God I found you. It's the Ripper. He's done it again. Oh, he can't. No, he can't have. And Lizzie. Not both. Not in one night. Nelly, remember what I said. Now go. How many more assassins must die before you see the truth? Only one more, Jack. You should have believed, Jacob. Now, I will hunt you down. I know you're there, Jack. The Master of Terror's afraid to show himself, is he? Oh, Jacob. Oh. 
I will gut every last one of them if that's the quickest way to you. I need only follow your scent, the scent of a wounded animal. There is nowhere you can hide from me. Jack, come and kill me! This is not our way. This is my You cannot escape me. Back to your hole, little mouse. Going somewhere, Jacob. Jack. You're sick. Jack. Only you know who the Ripper is. But you can't tell a living soul because it would destroy you and the assassins. No, 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 no! Jack. We can fix you. Fix me? I am the solution.
Miss Fry. Inspector Aberline. Why exactly have you had me escorted here? My men and I have been hunting the rip around the clock for months now, and we've nothing to show for it. There's nothing I can tell the public. What's the Ripper to do with me? My brother has had me summoned here from India. Can't this wait? As far as I know, you may be the last assassin in London. What do you mean? Where's Jacob? I wish I knew. Your brother is nowhere to be found, even as an elusive shadow is committing the most hideous crimes this city has ever seen. And you believe this is no coincidence? The killer is selective and dispassionate and has left not a single trace of his passage. I've seen such a talent for assassination and avoiding detection only once before when I worked with the two of you. And that is why your brother summoned you before he disappeared. You think Jacob is dead? I dare not believe it. But if he is, you may be the only person who can stop the Ripper now. Follow me. When are you gonna stop that monster? I'll take you to the site where the Ripper first struck. The journalists always seem to get the word first. We get there, they've trampled the evidence, and next day's headlines are dripping with blood. The few hundred yards between Flower and Dean Street have become so dangerous that even my best constables are afraid to patrol Whitechapel at night. Let's take a carriage, shall we? I'd rather not get egg on my face again today. I'll drive. What has become of this borough? Whitechapel is a cesspool of crime, Miss Fry, where terror reigns supreme. Elsewhere, the rich get richer, but here, the poor are living on the living, fighting to survive each day. Reporters share a view of Whitechapel as a lair of savages, monsters, and werewolves who hold oh. honest citizens in a state of terror. The Ripper's terror. Easy, girl. We are not far from where Mary Ann Nichols was murdered. I knew her as Polly, and that's what her friends called her. But the woman who died here is not the woman I met a few times at the frying pan pub. Then who was she? I was hoping you could tell me. Go see for yourself. This is where the Ripper committed his first murder. Was Miss Nichols' body identified? Her husband hadn't seen her in 11 years. He barely glanced at the poor, mutilated woman before he had the gall to forgive her for what she'd done to him. The press reporter's finger bore the mark of a ring. It was forcibly removed, and the same is true for his other victims. What did you discover? Give me a moment. I found Miss Nichols' ring. An assassin's ring. She must have tossed it away during the struggle. A desperate act to protect the Brotherhood. You think they were targeted? Yes. And the newspapers are accusing the police, me, of letting the first city of the world lapse into primeval savagery. I must take my leave, Miss Fry. 
I have other business in Whitechapel. Good day, Inspector. Thank you for your discretion. I'll need to tackle Jack's influence over the gangs in London. Slowly. Will he do me dead?
Did you hear that? My constables and I are grateful for your assistance.
Inspector? The inquest mentions that Miss Nichols made quite a spectacle of her drunkenness on the night of her murder. Do you think Jacob may have put her up to it? Bait, you mean? I don't know what to think anymore, Miss Fry. Jacob kept lodgings nearby, right in the heart of this cesspool. Be careful. I will not fail you. Looks like trouble is brewing. A letter. Grand work, the last job was. I'll give the lady no time to squeal. How can they catch me now? I love my work and I want to start again. You'll soon hear of me with my funny little games. I saved some of the proper red stuff in a ginger beer bottle from the last job to write with. But it went thick like glue and I can't use it. Red ink is fit enough, I hope. Ah. The newspapers printed this letter three days before Miss Stride and Miss Eddowes were murdered. It was signed, Jack the Ripper. So much blood. I hope it's not yours, brother. Weapons of intimidation, much like those we learned to use with our Indian brothers. More signs? What am I not seeing? time Henry, my brother, and I were together was in India, 15 years ago. When the photograph was taken, we stood facing a temple of Kali, and that's one of the boys Jacob brought to train with the Brotherhood. What did we call him? Jack the Lad. Reckless and roguish, much like my brother. More signs? What am I not seeing? I've got it, Jacob. Carly the Destroyer, I gave this to you on your last visit to India. There's a woman who can help. 
Unfortunately, she'll remind you of our childhood neighbor. If the Unfortunately, what is Jacob trying to say? We loved old Nelly. Could he be referring to an unfortunate woman? Nelly may be in the brothel nearest Jacob's lodgings. I'll start there. This bomb will strike fear in their hearts. Let's hope this Nelly has news of you, and can lead me to the Ripper. If Jacob's former pupil is the Ripper, then he is our Ripper. I must catch him. Have you seen Nelly today? Well, what do you want with Nelly? Who are you? If you're a friend, then you may already be too late. Where is she? On her way to see Lady O. In the company the brutes paid to keep us in line. Hurry if you want to catch her. Now come nicely, Nelly. Lady O's expected you. I don't want to. Let me go. Find Nelly before something bad happens to her. Where did they go? Nelly is in grave danger. There's the carriage. Nelly must be inside the building. Nelly is in there somewhere. No doubt closely guarded and in mortal danger.
dangerous thing I've seen around here. And so I am delighted to announce to you all today that we shall be taking on even more poor unfortunates in due course. <laughs> these desperate young women, innocent victims of these uncertain times, shall be offered a roof over their heads, a warm fire, three meals a day, and, above all, the love Look, and support they need to regain a foothold in society. The understanding and help from those of you in our charity allows all our girls an opportunity to pick themselves up and stand tall once more, whatever their past sins or failings. As long as they repent and acknowledge the errors of their ways, they shall find a home with us. This is the work of... Jason Bear! <laughs> <laughs> Nelly is in there somewhere. No doubt closely guarded and in mortal danger. <laughs> And so I am delighted to announce to you all today that we shall be taking on even more poor unfortunates in due course. These desperate young women, innocent victims of these uncertain times, shall be offered a roof. Don't be afraid. Jacob's sister. We can't talk here, please. He'll kill me. She'll see to it. Who? Lady Owens. Jacob said 
You must kill her to find him. Smile and be polite, or I'll tell the Ripper where you sleep, my beauties. Im Fry. Take Nelly and see to it that woman does not follow us. Where did she... That must be the carriage I'm after. Lady Owens. Whoa! Oh. Nelly, I'm so sorry. She used me as a decoy and fled to Owens Manor. Hoping I'd cause your death, no doubt. She knew you'd come, Miss Fry. Lady Owens, the Ripper's eyes and ears in London. Kill her, and Jack mm. will be forced to show himself. Hey! I'll look in on you soon, Nelly, I promise. Lady Owens will be expecting me. And I would not want to disappoint her. Jack's terror over the prostitutes in London has to end. 